Hi there, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. And what we are going to look at in this video is how to set up a weekly checklist for our students in Moodle, something that they can actually check off themselves to help them keep track of everything that they should be doing in a given week uh, in their online course. Now, if I look at another course that I have set up, you can see that I'm going to turn off the editing mode here so you can see what this actually looks like for a student. You can see that I have a checklist here of all the things that they need to do in week one or all the things that they need to do in week two. And they can actually check these off and mark them as complete or incomplete. So there's no specific checklist feature built into Moodle, but there's a little trick that you can use. You do that using the labels feature. So I have my label here already set up for my heading for my weekly checklist. What I'm going to do now is add a resource, click on label, and list off what my students should do. So they should read all of the topic two readings and watch all of the videos for this week. Now, in this case, I want to actually leave this as students can manually mark the activity as completed. And I'm simply going to hit save and return to the course. And I'm going to add another one of these here. You can see that it's already added the checkbox here for me. Turn my editing back on. And I'm going to add another one of these here. And it's label once again. And in this case, I'm going to add a label that uh, they need to remember to submit this week's assignment. By 11.59 p.m. Atlantic time is our current time zone. On the last day of this week. And again, I'll leave activity completion turned on. I have my labels here. I tend to indent these so that it keeps them nice and organized under my checklist. Same with my content here. I'll move my content in one level so that it's all nice and neat. And when I turn off my editing, you can see exactly what this looks like for your students. So they can clearly see now that I've organized this topic. They have the topic readings, the form that they are supposed to reply to for this week, and a checklist of the two activities that they need to complete for this week.